Hello everybody, and uh, today I just want to talk about something that was shocking to me, uh, which is the Chucky DLC from Dead by Daylight. This is from the public test build. I don't know if I'm going to review the final one, because I don't know if I'm going to buy it right away. I most likely will not, but if I review it, great. I don't know. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Chucky, this is why it just shocked me. I'm not even a big fan of Chucky, uh, especially now, after like the shows and stuff, I think they're freaking stupid. Um... It's not like I'm wearing a Chucky shirt or anything, but <laughs> I'm just wearing it today because of the, um, you know, the Dead by Daylight stuff. Um, and I actually just bought this shirt, so I was like, why not fucking wear it? Um, so, what do I want to talk about? Uh, first thing I definitely want to say is that the model for Chucky in this chapter is spectacular. It's outstanding how good it looks. It's really accurate. It is so good, and it, it's finally time we finally get, like, our first good, official, Chucky, like, 3D model. And I'm really happy about that. They did a really good job with how Chucky looks. Um, it looks more like the Child's Play 2 one mixed with the new show version. That's at least the idea I get from it, besides, like, the good guy doll um, form. Uh, because he switches to angry face and good guy doll throughout the thing. But um, I think his good guy doll face looks like Child's Play 2. Um, and then, uh, the angry face kind of looks like Child's Play 2 mixed with, uh, the new show. And that's what I got from it, at least. But he still looks freaking great. I love how he looks in, uh, in the game. Jesus, um, I'm, what else do I have to say? Uh, so I like how, I like the animations for this freaking guy. I love the idea that they did with, like, how Charles Lee Ray aka like you know Chucky it's it's the the actual person you know if you don't know the backstory of Chucky then what the frick so um so I like how you like the spirit of Charles Lee Ray is like the one picking up the survivors and all that I really like that idea it's really nice and I like that third person and even when you're on like hack and slash mode um you can see him like turn around at you so it's like you're in Charles Lee Ray's perspective which is really nice. Um, he has a lot of voice lines, which is freaking great. I really wish we could see that more. Um, I already expected that with this chapter, because, you know, it's freaking Chucky. You need to have him talk a lot, swear a lot, and all that. And if they weren't going to do that, then that's such a disservice to Chucky. And his voice lines are great. They, they're they exactly what you expect from Chucky. Um, he says, you know, all the bad words. He talks really childish. He talks like when, um, you know someone finds out all the bad words at once. Um, and it's just funny hearing him talk, like, saying, like, I gotcha, and all that. It's freaking perfect. And the amount of voice lines, like, for each section is pretty crazy. Like, there's even voice lines for when, like, someone escapes. There's even voice lines for, like, if Nicolas Cage is in the lobby, which is freaking awesome. He, like, says that, I thought I was the only star here, or I know that person, which is freaking nice. I love to see that. I hope they make something where, like, Nicolas Cage interacts with Chucky as well. That would be freaking great. I think he interacts with Michael and someone else. I forgot who. I know he interacts with Michael because he goes, da, 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 da. <laughs> But it's freaking great. Um, what else should I talk about? There's also skins coming out. There's an ultra rare skin and legendary skin. The legendary skin is Tiffany, which is voiced by Jennifer Tilly, which is the official voice of Tiffany. And, I, and also, I forgot to say... The Chucky voice actor is Brad Dorf, which is also the original Chucky actor, which I really like. Um, he did a really good job with this. What's even funnier is that in some of the voice lines, you can hear him laughing <laughs> at the end of it, which is freaking great. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, and then there's the Ultra Rare skin. A lot of people don't know what it is yet. I'm assuming it's the stitched one, the one on my shirt. Um, I think it's just going to be the Seed or Bride of Chucky one. I'm assuming Bride of Chucky because that seems, no, Seed of Chucky because that's the one that's licensed after it looks like. Um, well, it's licensed after Chucky, but it, it's, like, one of the, the trademarks is the Seed of Chucky, I believe, which I like the Seed of Chucky better than the Bride of Chucky design, because I hate, like, the little amount of hair and the staples and stuff, I think that looks dumb. And then, uh, what else? Is there really anything else to talk about? Uh, Fick. Oh, there's a lot of skin potential for this guy, I forgot to, like, I didn't forget to say that, um, but... There's a lot of skin potential for this guy, like, not even just, like, full outfits, but, like, heads and stuff. Like, they can do the pizza face, they could do the burnt Chucky from the original movie. They can do so much. They can do so many, like, versions of Chucky, and I would love to see all that. And I hope it does happen. And 
it's I have to say this chapter is freaking great. I I have to pull that out. Um, his gameplay is really fun. Uh, this is what uh, like really made me on like. like this is what was so unexpected to me. I think Dead by Daylight is the most repetitive freaking thing ever. I think it's so freaking boring. I played it so much, like, when I was younger, so that's probably why, but I feel like that's a lot of people, and, you know, like, once you play a game for a while, you're gonna get bored of it. But there's nothing really coming out that's new that's bringing me back, I mean, at least as of recently, or as of, like, the last five years of this freaking game. Uh, even Xenomorph, I'm a big fan of Xenomorph, and that didn't even excite me at all. And, I mean, it excited me when I saw it, but when I started playing it, I can only play for an hour before falling asleep. Uh, for Chucky, I played for like three hours, and I'm still having fun with him. It's really, really fun to play as him, and it's really glad to, for like, it really does justice to someone like me that, like, gets so freaking bored of these games really fast. It's so freaking good. Um... If you guys are like, uh, Dead by Delight is boring and stuff, try this freaking chapter out when it comes out, or if you have a PC, do PDB. It, it it will change your mind. Not like, change your mind, like you're gonna play D Dead by Delight all the time, but like, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be fun. Like, it's a fun character to play as. Um, which again, is unexpected, because I'm not a big fan of Chucky. There's so many people that are though, which is great. Um, and I hope that does bring a lot of people to this game. Because that's what they're trying to do here, obviously, but... Uh, d what else do I have to say? God damn. Oh, uh, he has a lot of lobby animations. They look great. I like that. Like, he's on a couch and stuff. I love that. And uh, in the in the menu, he has like he's like holding Charles Lee Ray's spirit's hand, which is freaking awesome. I love that. Of, uh, mm, uh, he's called the good guy. Um, he has a prestige skin already. I think I don't. I'm not, I wasn't really a big fan of it. Oh, the music, I have to talk about that too. He has his own custom music. Um, it's okay. His theme is fine. I think his chase music is a little... Uh, okay, like it's not as good as the theme. I think it doesn't really sound Chucky-ish. I think it sounds just like a Dead by Daylight chase theme, which is, I guess, what you want. But I kind of wish that they did like the Child's Play 2 song, where like they're in the factory and it does... Doo -doo 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 and all that. I would really like to see that instead of just the random chase music, and it, it doesn't even really sound like Turkey. I guess it kind of does, because it does have that, like, little bell, whatever, xylophone-type sound. But barely, like, you can barely hear it. Um, I, I think his power is pretty good. Um, my brother said it looks like it's hard to control, and I had no problem with it at all. Most of the times I used it, I usually hit someone. Uh, I think I missed like two times, and that was mostly because I was trying to turn a corner and I kept like swooping to a wall because you can't turn that fast, which is what I expected. Um, but like in terms of like it, like you know catching up to someone, it's a really good attack. I think it's really good. He also lunges forward really really fast. Like um, when you use his attack, his attack is like pretty long. Like it's not like. I mean, it's long, it's not, like, big, but it's, like, long. Like, like if, like, you can't really loop him. It's kind of like impossible, to be honest, with this guy. And I really hope they don't nerf that, because that is freaking great. I, I'm, I'm happy that we finally get a freaking killer that can end looping for at least a little while. And he does that justice. He freaking, I, I've seen a lot of people that try to loop me, and I freaking destroyed them. It's freaking crazy. Um, I hope, I mean, I guess they could nerf this guy a little bit, maybe, like, the attacks being a little bit less, like, usable, like, more of a cooldown, which would be fine for me. I don't really care about that. But, um, but in terms of, like, the power itself, I don't, I hope they don't change that. I think it's perfect. I don't know much about his perks. I know one of them can blind the survivors if you stun the killer for too much. I don't know how that's gonna do any good, really, because someone can just keep walking forward, and then the killer won't even get that far. Like, I don't know how that would help. I don't know, uh, I don't know much about, like, that. I'm not a Dead by Daylight enthusiast here, like, I don't know the best freaking perks that you can use for this freaking guy, I'm not like that, um, is the, um, uh, I don't know what else to talk about, um, I think I'm just gonna give my verdict now, um, oh yeah, he does a couple of the map, uh, I think I'm just gonna give my verdict now. I think this is definitely like a 9 or 10 out of 10 chapter. I think this is actually one of the best chapters since like the, like, 
I don't know. I don't even really know any more good like chapters because I'm just so bored of Dead by Daylight now. I would say Leatherface. I don't even remember if Leatherface was that good back then. Though. I think he's good now, but I don't know about back then. Um, I'm just gonna say that he's probably the best chapter since the Leatherface one because that's the only one that ex that's the last chapter that excited me and had me playing for a little while. Then once it got to like Freddy, I kind of got bored. Or did Freddy come before? I I don't I don't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, I think he's one of the freaking best chapters of Dead by Daylight overall like overall like you guys like everybody needs to play this there's so much effort that went into this and it's freaking awesome and i love that um oh there's something else i have to talk about uh so yeah i think freaking go if you're done with the review you just wanted to see my verdict just go but um something else i want to talk about i love that chucky is more serious um in the trailer and in the game kind of um it reminds me of classic Chucky, and I really enjoy that. I like how they did that. I don't like how Chucky is now, where, like, he gets hurt. He's just like, ah, oh, okay, well, let me go kill them. <laughs> and then, but old Chucky would just go, like, what the fuck? You know, he would be freaking mad. Like, but new Chucky would just be like, oh, okay, well, I got hurt. Cool. But it's like, I love that. Um, I always liked classic Chucky. I just don't like modern Chucky, where he's just all jokey. I'm fine with the jokes. But, like, joking all the time. Like, even, like, old Chucky, of course, he joked around. But he was still, like, serious most of the time. Like, he still had a lot of seriousness in him. And I really enjoyed that because it made him a lot creepier to me. And the new Chucky kind of just ruined that for me. Like, that creepy thing. That's why I don't really like him as much anymore. Uh, I always liked the seriousness, but... I know people are fans of the just Chucky overall. I just, I don't know. I just think the seriousness tone is cooler. Uh, um, in the game, he's obviously still jokey. He still has you know those jokes, but he still has that seriousness too. Like some of the lines, he gets freaking mad, like a lot, and I like that. Like when he gets hurt, he gets freaking mad, and I really like that. It, yeah. So yeah, overall, good chapter. Highly recommend it. Go freaking play it. It's really, really good. Um, un unexpectedly good. Like, that actually was really good. And good job, Dead by Daylight. You brought me back. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I don't freaking know. One of those two. But see you guys later.